Barry, first of all, congratulations on a great win. Did I hear your thoughts on today's game? Yeah, I'm, uh, listen, it's probably the first game in a long time we've, we've been favourites, slight favourites, getting into a game. And I asked the players to show that mental toughness that's required, you know, what comes along with being favourites and going 1 0 down and showing the resolve and the battle to come back to win 2 1. It, showed, it spoke, spoke a lot about the players, so testament to them. As you say there, it was great to see them come down from a goal behind. Previous weeks, you know, going back a few months, the game would have been over at that stage, but not today. No, and listen, it's been like that for a while. We know we can score now, we know we're a threat. I think the first goal we scored, you'll be hard pushed to see a better team goal all year. I thought the play from Lewis was outstanding, and Josh coming as a third man runner, you know, from midfield deep, and maybe getting a wee bit lucky with the finish. But listen, he's deserved that luck after his penalty miss a couple of weeks ago. OK, in terms of the actual game today, in first half, we were a bit slow to get the traps probably in first yeah, half. Listen, in fairness to Arma, I, I spoke to Shea and, you know, they, they had to treat this game like a, a cup final. Obviously, you know, being being down where they are. And uh, they, they certainly they certainly showed that. They came out, you know, well on top, well fired up. And I thought they just wanted it a wee bit more all around the park. But um, once we got in at half time, we reset ourselves with a wee bit of a wind that was behind us here today. I think we, we used it well. And once we got the first goal, it was just, well... We pushed for a second. I don't want to be, you know, disrespectful to our man Shea, but I, I kind of felt we would go on and get the second. We had some really, really nice football in terms of the passing there today as well. I well it's the the uh, 4G pitch, you know. Not, hopefully, it will not be long to get on in ourselves. I'm only joking, but you can see with Josh Lynch and Johnny, the, the calm play. You know, even Johnny looks like a hard man with that skinhead and beard. He actually does have a wee bit about him, you know, with a ball at his feet. So, with them two players in midfield, we can't pop passes around and Lewis and, you know, Pierce coming off the bench, Mick Gallagher. We've got good footballers, but the, it shows as well they've got battling qualities when we don't have such a nice surface. Yeah, there's a couple of suspensions there today, and obviously we're at the stage of the season where suspensions are starting to kick in, but you've got strength and depth as well. Uh, listen, again, Kane, Matty Swan, and Pierce coming off the bench. I'm happy enough for that depth, you know, and you're going to have Jordan and Adam McCart back as well next week. Plus, the likes of Kieran Clockery, who they can get on today, you know, it's just keeping them players motivated. They, they, to be fair, they know they're part of a squad and they know they will be needed at some stage. So they're all working hard in their fitness behind the scenes and they, they're, they've bought into what we want, which is a, a good team, you know, a good team morale and good, you know, positive players in there in the change room. So none of the players are sulking. They're all just getting on with it and just biding their time to get their chance. You mentioned there about being back for next week. Next week, of course, a small matter of a local derby against Ballon McIntyre Rangers. I promise to be a fascinating game of football. Yeah, Berlin, listen, it's... Yeah, we probably would have been dreading this game, you know, a few months ago, and now we're looking forward to it. We know that Ballon McIntyre are a quality, quality team. You know, only them and Bangor really stand out teams in the league. And they're, they're in the position second for the very reason that they're such a good team. So we'll go out with a game plan and we'll give them all the respect they deserve because, they are, like I said, I can't speak highly enough of, of, of them, you know, in terms of their position and where they are in the league. So obviously we'll give them respect. A very tough game, but it's a derby and, you know, if you can't get motivated for a derby, you, you shouldn't really be here. Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen the final league table today, but I think we're in the top half now. Obviously, the object has to be now to try and stay in that top half. Yeah, no pressure, Carl. Is that you speaking <laughs> from the board? We um, No comment. We, we wanted to be safe this year, so anything we get after, that's a bonus. But yes, certainly, we are now reset our target to, to push for the top six. If we get there, it'll be brilliant. If not, it hasn't been a bad season considering where we started. And finally, the supporters were in good tune today. Yeah, they were, to be fair. It's uh, it's nice it's nice to hear them being a bit vocal and singing a few songs. It's, I mean, like I said, it, it's like night and day compared to where we were six months ago, but it's only a small step in the right direction. I keep on saying that, and it sounds like a broken record, but it, it's, it's small steps in, in the right direction, and hopefully we can get to where we want to be.